Today on Internet Marketing Pro, we are going to discuss the power of online video marketing, as well as uh, three important video marketing tips, three video marketing musts, and do you have the right video marketing priorities? Are you legally minimizing your future tax burden and staying compliant in today's complex tax code? If not, our sponsor, Michelou Consulting, has over 30 years of experience providing top quality professional services in accounting and tax preparation for a wide variety of clients like you. Whether you need a tax return filing, a planning, bookkeeping, financial statements, full service payroll, or a corporate or individual tax return filing, I personally recommend that you contact Jeffrey Ressler, CPA at 561. 561- one two three seven five two six four. That number again is five six one two three seven five two six four. And you can visit his website at jrcpa.net. That's jrcpa.net. Tell Jeff that Chad Decker sent you from this podcast to receive a special rate for listening to this show. Thank you very much. Broadcasting from the city of sun and rain off the Atlantic Ocean in Boca Raton, Florida. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. I'm your host, Chad Deckard, and welcome to my Internet Marketing Pro podcast show. My shows will cover how to grow your business, as well as topics on tips, tricks, and techniques, digital lifestyles, the future of finance, and entrepreneurism. Thank you for tuning into my show as we begin this adventure together, exploring many great things to come. Now, let's cover a quick few announcements before we jump into the video marketing content of this show. Uh, my first comment I'd like to make is that I'm giving a free ebook away today, or actually moving forward, to anyone who goes to the description of this video or back to my website from shows that I now produce this summer. I'm going to give uh, Deborah Elkerton's um, Elderkin. I'm sorry, I had her on as a guest just a couple shows ago, and we discussed 16 success strategies. And I have her ebook from Amazon, and I'm going to give it away for free for everyone who goes to my iTunes uh, podcast platform page and gives me. A, not only subscribes, but also gives me a rating and a review. And all you need to do once you give me a rating and review is contact me on my website, cdeckard.com, which is my blog, or chaddeckard.com, and let me know what's your handle that you use to leave a review, and I will approve it. Of course, it'll take 24 hours for it to show up the following day. And if it checks out, I mean, if you want to give me one rating, that's fine, you know, one star, but I really want the five. And, uh, you know, if I see that your review is on there, I will be glad to send you that book for free. So that's uh, a free giveaway that I'm giving now, and that will go on pretty much indefinitely uh, because um, Deborah gave me the approval to be able to distribute her book uh, for an incentive. So I'm going to go ahead and use it for that. And I just want to let you all know that uh, ezinegenerator.com is in uh, full effect. It's uh, getting quite a bit of uh, action, and that's a free news aggregation and resource uh, website you should check out. That's E-Z-I-N-E generator g e n e r a t o r dot com that's e zine generator go ahead and check that out we're preparing to actually associate a short and a different type of podcast that is associated with that news aggregation site and it's totally about total online presence so if you really like this show you're definitely going to want to check out e zine generator and sign up as a free member it's also great for doing link building so uh, there is a, a paid side of e zine generator where you can actually uh you know buy a link and be showcased uh, with an ad and your RSS feed being plugged in in a premium spot so that you'll get a lot of extra exposure and get links that are necessary in building um, the uh, clout on your website. All right, so let's jump into the, the nitty-gritty of today's show, and we're going to discuss the power of online video marketing. Video hosting sites like YouTube have made it easy to upload and share your videos online. Why not implement video into your marketing strategy? Well, bringing 
uh, a bit of the traditional TV advertising aspect to the web, producing a video provides an opportunity to give a face and voice to your company. If done correctly, it can make you come across as a more relatable human. You know, it basically puts a face to it. Not only that, uh, according to uh, Forrester Research, by the year 2016, the majority of the internet is going to be watching most of their ads and interacting predominantly in video because of smartphones and tablets and the fact that people are wanting that type of contact more and more and more and uh, we're seeing how viral videos uh, are really making an impact on today's society so like any other form of marketing communication content is key and any video that you decide to produce should have a purpose even if it's just a tour of your company or a client testimonial it doesn't have to be anything outlandish or fancy all you really need is a camcorder some simple editing software time and an employee or two willing to help out you know, be sure to make your videos interesting, but simple and to the point. People will click, quickly click away from the video if there doesn't seem to be any reason to watch it from the get go. So don't be too, don't let it be too long. You know, people don't want to spend too much time watching your video. And the point of the video is really to leave your audience wanting more. The goal is for them to take some sort of action, like give you a call or sign up for a newsletter right after watching the video. And once you've created your video, make sure that it's visible. What's the point of making a video if nobody knows that it exists? Put it somewhere where it's visible on your website, like the homepage, and be sure to promote it. Share it on your Facebook wall and your blog. And you can also use social media to endorse your video before it is released by posting comments like our video, you know, fill in the blank, will be posted on Friday. Don't miss it out. And also, if you go back to my previous shows that are archived, which I have 38 shows behind me at this point, I talk about how you can get people to uh, share your information and link and get the most out of a blog post and all kinds of great relative information to enhance what I'm talking about in this show. So have fun with the process of creating and uploading a video. It can be a great way to get your message across, but remember, just because you have a few videos on your so site, you know, doesn't mean that everyone is going to watch them. Some people still prefer to browse through a website and read your content and find the information that they are looking for. A video doesn't replace all the other elements of a well-optimized site. All right, so now we're going to go into the next category that we're going to talk about in this program and that's three important video marketing tips okay when people think of online content marketing typically the first things that come to mind are articles blog posts and email newsletters however there is another form of content marketing that can be very powerful if, if executed properly and that's video marketing as well as podcasting and YouTube is the second largest search engine after Google and they own both and people are watching videos and whether they are made by professionals or amateurs videos can attract a different audience that might not want to take the time to read a white paper or an article or maybe they're busy and they're on the go and they need to entertain themselves, uh, info entertain, infotainment they call it these days, and listen in the car maybe on the way to work or taking the kids to soccer practice or whatever it might be and working out. Uh, maybe you just want to be inspired and get some things done that you, in times that uh, you don't want to sit in front of the computer and that's the beautiful thing about this mobile marketing and, 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 and mobile phones and, and pads is being able to take it with you like no other time ever in history. So video marketing certainly isn't just for, you know, business to consumer businesses, but if you are a B2B, then, uh, you know, and you do say you say you speak at conferences and you give guest lectures or hold training or consulting sessions, Film it, all of it. It's all going to be great content that you can use one time or another. And all this great material can be edited down to maybe short two to five minute segments that people can watch at their leisure since they are more likely to watch one five minute video a day than spend an hour watching one. The point is video provides a great opportunity for marketers to take advantage of and as long as you are incorporating video marketing into your strategy you should keep SEO in mind and here are three tips for video marketing. 
one. Submit to a variety of sites. YouTube is obvious and you should definitely post there, but don't forget about all the other sites like Vimo and Metacafe and Break and Daily Motion all offer slightly different variations of video sharing services. It's possible that there might even be a video sharing site that is specific to your industry. Videos can also be added to your own website, but it's important not to go overboard. Video can affect page load time, so keep it one or two important videos if you're going to use this strategy. Next, optimize. Upload the video to multiple sites and create different titles and descriptions for each, making sure to get targeted keywords in there. It's also a good idea to include a business phone number. That way someone can easily contact you for more information. It also helps local search purposes too. And finally, promote. What good are your videos if people don't know if they exist? It will take time for them to rank organically in the search engines. So why not do a promotional push to get people to see them now instead of later? This is especially important if the content is time sensitive. So after submitting to multiple sites, promote the video on your blog, on your social network, and in your newsletters. You know, videos can be a great marketing tool, but they shouldn't replace other forms of content marketing like blogging and article writing. You know, because videos should work simply to enhance your content marketing and link building portfolio. All right. So my next content I'm going to hit up on this show is a top three video marketing musts. If, you know, if we've learned anything from the success of YouTube, it's that people love to watch videos about just about anything, no matter what the content of the video is, even if it's just like five minutes of just really cute little kitties doing stupid little kitty stuff. It somehow seems more interesting and entertaining to watch a video about something rather than read about it. You know, marketers have realized this and are now beginning to incorporate videos into the mix more often. And although they sometimes forget some important steps. So in order to get the most out of your video, let's not forget these three video marketing musts. All right. The first one is create for your target audience. I'll repeat that. It's create for your target audience, not necessarily what you want or you think would be cool. I mean, if you need to do that, go ahead, but don't expect much from it. You need to be thinking in your audience's shoes. What's in it for them? This is a misconception that a marketing video needs to be expertly produced so that it will go viral. Wrong. The more weird and wacky and crazy and all these different other things that I'll get into and other in future shows, we'll discuss that the more funky, wild, and all these different factors actually make it, or the more weird it is, actually make it more probable to be viral. Look at some of the top most viral videos online. You know, either you have to do something really cool or very creative, or you got to be weird or do something different than everybody else. So... This isn't always the case, but for some businesses, the best videos can be made with simple production and editing equipment. Even phones take a great, you know, great video these days, like the iPhone. I'm really impressed with the uh, pixelation on that. Think about what your target audience would want to see in a video, not what all of America would want to see. If you distribute a product, make a video that shows it in action. If the product needs to be assembled, make a video that shows the process. Sure, it's nothing flashy. It's not going to make anyone laugh, but it will help people that are most important to you, and that's your customers, and that's all that matters, really. All right, the next thing uh, that you need to, or it's a must in video marketing, is you need to optimize. It's what this show is part about. It's why we're called pros. It's performance, results-driven optimization. Videos have great SEO potential. After all, any video that you post online gives you an opportunity to link back to your site, so you shouldn't limit it to just YouTube. Update your video to Vimo, Metcafe, Break, and Daily Motion 2. Videos can also be found in search engines, so don't forget to optimize them using targeted keywords in the titles and descriptions. Next, as far as the three promotes, uh, three musts that you need in video uh, marketing, and I was getting ahead of myself saying promote. So yes, it is promote. It could take a while for your video to rank in the search engines and be found by target audience members. So why not tell them about it yourself? And that's where social media is a great place to promote your video. Post on your social media pages to let your followers know that you are creating a video and then post again to let them know that it's been published and include a link. 
As long as the video isn't time sensitive, it's okay to continue to promote it occasionally over time so that your new followers know that it exists. If it's something that your followers find useful, they will share it with their network, expanding your reach. And I've done this many times, you know. I've taken my video and I've promoted it on my social networks. And I find one of the greatest places where I promote my video and get a lot of action is very direct and targeted to my audience than just sitting out there on just YouTube waiting for people to show up. But it's to post it in LinkedIn groups. And what I am as part of is over 50 groups. So LinkedIn allows you to be a part of 50 groups that could be relative to who your potential customer could be. So I'm in things like Affiliate Summit or I'm in Ad Tech or I'm in uh, Leads and Data or, you know, I'm in, uh, what is it, uh, uh God, I could go in on and on. There's 50 of them anyway. But if you get the great idea that they're relative subject matters of groups that would be interested in hearing what I have to say in these programs. And I will just go down each group. And, you know, you could say it's spammy, but I call it posting and link building. And, you know, my idea is that I really am just trying to get the word out and give back by putting these shows together and just educate people. And if I prove myself uh, valid enough, then people will, you know, see me as an expert and potentially come to my site or buy a product from me one time or, or help me get the word out. I never know what the lifetime value or, you know, what I'm going to get from someone, you know, for giving what I am. I just got to rely on the karma. So that's what I had to talk about as far as three video musts. And my last subject matter I'm going to cover on the show is do you have the right video marketing priorities? You know, YouTube has made it very easy for anyone to create a video, upload it, and share it with others. You know, millions of people visit the site on a daily basis, which has resulted in numerous YouTube sensations, you know, basically creating a new genre of celebrityism. And people featured in these videos that have gone viral and achieved an outstanding number of views in a short period of time have become very intelligent in being able to actually replicate and do it again. And it's become almost a kind of a tight-knit community. Since it seems to happen fairly frequently, businesses want to get in on the action too. And they think that if they create something crazy, funny, and attention-grabbing, it will result in a few thousand hits overnight and achieve a quick uptick in the website traffic and conversions. You know, businesses that start a video marketing strategy with that as their primary goal don't have their priorities straight. You know, it isn't easy to get a video to go viral. There really is no secret recipe and there is no way to determine what it will hit or miss. You know, marketers can get really frustrated if they invest lots of time and money into a video and it never really takes off. You know, when it comes down to marketing videos, the priority should always be the target audience. I just said this earlier. So the first thing to keep in mind is that marketing videos do don't need to be extravagant in order to attract target audience attention. It just should be professional, but that doesn't mean that you need to spend lots of money on expensive video recording and editing equipment. Even phones take quality uh, video these days. And the most important thing is that the picture and the sound is clear. And in most cases, you only need basic equipment for that. And you know, if you're creating a marketing video to post online and use, for link building and to build your online presence, the content should remain true to your brand. If your company isn't known for being funny or quirky, it doesn't make sense to produce a video that is funny and quirky because then it will be funny and quirky that you're not funny and quirky. So if anything, I would say take the, you know, taking that approach could backfire because it will attract the wrong target audience and obviously send a wrong message across, which could confuse a lot of people. So, uh, you know, it's a way to definitely alienate uh, the appropriate target audience because they will be confused and obviously from that disconnect with you. So be careful with the content that you put out. Um, and sometimes it might not even be bad to test it behind the scenes for a very small sample before you actually really launch it. Uh, that way you, uh, you have a better idea of how, you know, the audience warp will portray it or take it. And I've made that mistake in the past thinking like, oh, this is going to be really cool. I'm going to put that out there. And then all of a sudden I realized like, wow, a lot of people did not really see it the way or the angle at which I wanted them to see it. So maybe I'm just not communicating. And that's obviously where my disconnect was. And it wasn't as successful. So, you know, I learned what not to do. But, you know, many businesses overthink their video marketing strategy. And they think that they don't have anything interesting to film. Remember, 
It doesn't need to be flashy. Sometimes even the simplest idea is the best one. Create marketing videos based on presentations that your CEO gives at events or trade shows. Film a tour of your business and think about what the target audience might find interesting. For example, if you own a bakery, document the daily routine that the staff goes through from the early morning wake up call to when the business closes up for the day. Show how you make the dough and you put it on and how long you, you know, you cook it in the oven. You know, if you keep a clean knit kitchen at the end of the day, show your beautiful kitchen. People will be glad that they're actually going to some place that keeps themselves clean. So, uh, you know, show how you make the cookies, become known for, you know, allowing people in behind the scenes. I mean, there's a whole cottage industry of people that go to places to see how pretzels are made. Or if you go to Hershey Park, you can see how, you know, they create chocolate and put it in chocolate bars, you know. So, uh you get the idea there. So in order to get these videos seen by appropriate audience, it's important for you to promote them on your website and through your social media, like I said. And, you know, hey, they might not get a million views, but your target audience will appreciate them and pass them along as if they were useful and informative. All right. Well, that's about it for uh, this program. If you like my show, I would ask you to share, like, post, leave a comment, leave a review. And subscribe to my show as well. And I greatly appreciate your efforts and support. And remember, you are part of what makes this show a success. Well, that's about it. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. This is Chad Decker signing off. Goodbye for now.